What am I going to do to get back on track? What am I going to do to get back on track? I want to talk out loud, share with you guys what I've been thinking about. Obviously, yesterday I posted the video about how I was hitting a cold streak, a frosty cold, cold streak, December cold, snow, cold streak. I don't know. I'm in the red right now. I want to make it clear, though. I grew that XFA account from zero to, I think, like 40000 I took a $20,000 payout. I then transferred $24,000 into the live funded Top Step account. They transferred me into the live account. I then ran it up to $50,000. I then am now back to $18,000. So I want to make it clear. I am not like in the negative here. Right? I haven't lost a ton of money. I paid $150 for that Top Step account. So it's not like I've actually lost $30,000. Like I didn't like go $30,000 in the hole. You know, I was up the 30,000 then I, I gave it back basically. I started with 0, went to 50, well, went to like 70 and then came with 50. I don't know. The numbers make sense when you think about it. $150 signing up for a top step account There's a link down below if you want to learn more about top step, but let's talk about what I want to focus on here and also talk about a very simple idea. You can have the best strategy in the world but if you don't follow the fucking strategy, do you even have a strategy? That's one of the my biggest issues. One of my biggest issues, and when I really think about it, the reasons that I end up losing money, the days that I end up losing money, has nothing to do with my strategy. It just has to do with me following the strategy, following the rules, you know, getting stopped out, taking profit, and all of those fun things. I want to show you guys some recent stats actually here in the combine recently so i do kind of trade sometimes in the combine and try to build those up and and work on things inside the combine it's a little bit different than trading in a straight up simulator because in the combine at least you have some type of you know actual risk reward because if you get funded in you know, there's, there's money to be made. So this right here, this is the combine that I started on December 11th. I passed this combine and just to kind of go through my stats here. Basically, not to sit here and like prove to you that I know how to day trade or that my strategy works and all that, but just to prove to you that like if I follow the plan, if I do what I need to do and I follow the rules, I take the profit and I do, I do those things, well, then I can grow an account and I can make money. It's interesting because, you know, with the combine, you have like a goal of making $9,000, but you can't do it in one day. You have to do it in multiple days, two days, you know, 50% your, your profit can't be in one day, more than 50%. So I think it's interesting because this basically stops you from like really trying to hit for the, the home run trades because you're like, look, the most that I can make is $4,000. So inside this combine, you can see my largest average winning trade, 737 my largest winning trade, uh, 1,500, and the smallest winning trade, these are because like the break-even trades kind of end up screwing me up there, but whatever. Um, but you can see my average losing trade, the biggest is uh, 796 in this account. And if we go through kind of the numbers here, right? We go through the numbers, you can see December 11th starting out making $1,800, the next day making 4,300, uh, the next day giving back 3000 the next day making 4000 and then 1800 to be able to lock in the grand total here of obviously $9,248 there over a course of five days. So 80% winning days, one red day, green, green, gave it back, green, green. And this was in one of the combines that I had here. And then we have another one. You can see this one right here very kind of similar stats. It's interesting because this one again, largest winning trade 1400, average losing trade 600. So yeah, if you go through winning percentage in this combine, 90% there, and you can see how I grew that. So kind of interesting that the 11th, I had red days in both of those combines. But if you look at the stats once again, you know, this day where I made 4,000, almost $5,000, I had zero losers. This day where I lost 3,000, I had 10 winners and five losers. The next day where I made 4,000, I had three winners, zero losers. And then the final day making 3,000, I had nine winners and zero losers. 
I also wanted to show you guys this. This is from yesterday, right? So this is yesterday. I talked about kind of like coming back after I made that video yesterday and just kind of doing a little bit of practice trading. And you can see making $3,270 here in the practice account, just kind of going through you know my strategy. And one of the things that I'm really in love with right now and I really like is kind of the VWAP kind of flip, right? Let's say we're below the VWAP and we get it back above the VWAP and then we start to make a move back up. We kind of look for the VWAP to flip the price action. So we want to get back above the VWAP, turn it into support and then get that push higher and break above uh, previous setups and something like things like that. So the trades work, right? The strategy works. But what am I have? I'm having issues. Like, what is the issue here, Patrick? Like, what is the big issue? And why do we keep giving back profits? And I think a lot of that has to do with number one, trading my PL, right? My biggest issue right now, I think, is trading my PL. What happens is let's say I'm up by thousand dollars on the day. And then I get like, I'm like, I pull up my PL, open my PL chart, and I'm like, okay, I'm up five thousand. The next trade, I enter the trade and all of a sudden, like I'm in the red, you know, let's say I'm down five hundred dollars. Instead of cutting off that trade, what do I do? I focus so much on my PL that I'm like, oh, I just get I, I just want to get back to green. I just want to get back to green. So then I end up holding the trade longer. Maybe I try to get short, you know, even when we're trending higher. Like I don't follow a strategy. I'm just like instantly just go into this like psychological blabber point. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. like this black hole where I'm just like, I go from being up 5,000 to all of a sudden, like, now I'm only up 4,000, and then I'm like, fuck, I'm going to short, and then I short, and then it pops, and then I short, and then it's like, and then I get to take it long, and then it drops, and then before I know it, I'm down $3,000 a day, and it's like this black hole of nothingness, and I'm sure a lot of you have experienced that, and that's called going on tilt, right? Going on tilt, and I think one of the biggest reasons for going on tilt for me is being focused on the P&L more than focused on the setups and focused on the actual trades, right? I'm more focused on trading my PL, keeping my PL at a certain level, making a certain amount of money than I am on actually trading. And I think that's one rule. So for this video, I wanna talk about like one very important rule that I wanna focus on going forward is to forget about my PL. Don't look at the PL, don't think about the PL. Focus on the trade, take the profit. And I've seen this before as well. Like I'm in a trade. Let's say I'm in a trade. The market moves up. It goes to, I don't know. It goes to like, what's the idea here? Let's look at this. Um, uh, do, do, do. We pull this up here. All right. Let's think about it like this. So the NASDAQ, let's say, okay, uh, this is a good example. Let's say the NASDAQ breaks out right here and I'm long. I get long right here and they break out, whatever. I'm, I'm long. I'm long from the VWAP bounce. Perfect. I'm long there. It starts to push up. It pushes up here to the 60s, right? It pushes to the 60s. And, well, I'm up like, uh, you know, I'm up $10,000. I'm up $5,000, whatever it is. And all of a sudden, it starts pulling back. And now I'm only up four. Now I'm only up three. Now I'm only up two. Now I'm only up one. Now I'm back to break even. And that's like this emotion, right? I'm basically, I'm up 10000 I'm all excited. And then all of a sudden, I look at my p and I'm only up eight. And then I look at my p and I'm only up seven. And then I'm only, you know, like now I'm just basically sitting there looking at my p and and I'm not focused on the trade. I'm not focused on what is actually happening. I'm only focused on the fact that my p and pulling back. My p and is crashing down. And I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. And I just keep holding and I'm holding and I'm hoping and I'm praying and I'm praying and I'm hoping. And before I know it, well, I end up getting back to break even or getting into the red. And I think that, again, is a very big issue, right? My p and I got a big problem with chasing my PL more than anything right now. And I think that is very apparent because it's not that the strategy doesn't work out. I know people in the comments are like, Patrick, you have no strategy. Patrick, you can't trade. Patrick, trade ICT. Patrick, do this, do that. It's not that the strategy does not work. The problem is when I take trades that are not part of the strategy or I do something stupid like that or I don't follow the plan. I take my profit, right? We see that there's a fucking blue line. Oh, there's a trend line there. There's resistance. We know there's resistance right here, right? And I'm like, it pushes up to that resistance. And what do I think? I'm like, fuck it. It's going to keep going higher, right? It's very easy to be in a trade while it's pushing up, pushing up. And you get to a level where you normally would be like, okay, that's resistance. But while you're in the trade, you're like, no, it's going to go higher. It's going to just keep going higher and higher and higher and higher. It's never going to stop. 
And it's so easy to get so caught up in the idea that it's going to go higher and higher and you just get wrapped up in it. The emotion is real, right? And I think that's a big issue for me right now. I'm just trying to be as transparent and as honest as possible. I'm showing you guys that, number one, if you don't follow the fucking strategy, it doesn't matter what your strategy is. Do I have a strategy? 100%. Do I, uh, can I make money as a trader? 100%. Have I made money as a trader? 100%. The problem here is the fact that when I get caught up in my p &L, chasing big p &Ls, I get caught up in this idea that I want to hit home run trades, $10,000 trades, $20,000 trades. Instead of taking a two or three thousand dollar profit, I then hold for either break even. You guys have seen me how many times on the live stream do that? How many times on the live stream where I've been up, you know, big on a trade, and I wait and I wait and I fucking I'm hoping and I'm praying, and before I know it, I am now break even or in the red on the trade. So this is a thing that I have to accept. I have to understand myself, right? I have to understand that hey. There's nothing wrong with locking in profits. It's great to hold for a big winner sometimes. But the market's giving you setups like that, but it's not always going to happen. Nothing wrong with locking in profit. And I think that's one thing that I really just need to focus on and go moving forward. It's like, fuck it. Don't worry about your goddamn P&L. Don't worry about how much money you're up. Don't worry about that bullshit. Worry about the trade. If we have a resistance level right here and we hit that resistance level, well, fucking take profit, you moron. Take fucking profit. It's that simple. If the strategy works, it does work. 100% the strategy works. But if you don't follow the fucking strategy, it doesn't matter how good of a trader you are. you got to follow the fucking strategy, Patrick. And, well, I'm here to basically, you know, talk through this with you guys and try to find out exactly what can I do to get better. And I think this right here is one of the biggest issues for me. Trying to watch my PL. I'm looking at my PL. I'm up 4,000. All right, the trade's going higher. I'm up 5,000. Okay. And then all of a sudden it starts pulling back. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Well, I'm going to hold because I was already at five. I'm going to keep holding. And then before I know it, I'm, I'm in the red. So it's a, it's a real thing. It's a real issue. And it's funny because everybody in the chat or everybody in the comments yesterday after I posted that video, like everybody has the answer. So of the 500 or 600 people that commented on that video, like, wow. It's amazing to see that that many people watching my videos on YouTube are that fucking good at trading, that everyone is a fucking genius. And who knew that Warren Buffett, uh, you know, watches my YouTube videos and has all the answers for me. So I think it's hilarious. And I saw people commenting about, you know, other YouTubers, how they're so much better than me. But the funny thing is, like, I'm not even going to get into it, but I can guarantee you that you have no idea what you're talking about. And I can pretty much promise you that the YouTubers that you think are making tons of money trading are not actually making the money that you think they're making because they're not actually talking about the red days like I am. They're not talking about when they actually lose money. They're not showing those days. I, I know 100% for a fact that some of your favorite YouTubers that you claim that are very profitable um, make have big, massive loss days, and I've never seen them post about it on their social medias, which is very, very interesting. And I'm not going to get into it, but very interesting how that works all right all right so if you guys haven't hit that like button, subscribe button we got a lot of stuff coming up i'm i'm working through it we're working through it we're gonna get back it's it's all we're we're never we're not down we're just just fucking going through a pullback right now my friends and the next thing is all time high breakout all time high breakout it's coming hit that like button subscribe button i'll talk to you guys later on